Now, a project to tackle knife crime, which puts youth workers at the heart of a children's hospital in Sussex, has been shortlisted for a national award. Young people who are treated at the Royal Alex in Brighton may have experienced trauma, including violence or criminal exploitation. While they're in hospital, they can be referred to the youth workers for support, and the scheme's helping reduce the risk of them being readmitted in the future. Here's Juliet Parkin. It may be a children's hospital, but what medical staff witness here at times is so much more than child's play. The number of young people arriving here with things like serious injuries as a result of violence, substance misuse or serious mental health problems was rising, and those on the front line felt more needed to be done. The doctors and nurses and the staff within the emergency department were worried about some of the teenagers that they were fixing, if you like, as best they could, but then letting them go. So you go home thinking, w I wonder what will happen to that teenager. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them back here again because we haven't sorted the problem out. To now thinking, wow, I'm glad we've managed to pick up that young person because we've got Shauno and the team who will then pursue that thread. And this is Shawno, who's part of a team now based at the hospital, on hand to talk and support when needed. The service was launched in April last year, and since then, almost 300 young people have been helped. We would like to see support outside the hospital for them, and that's what we're really good at. With seeing what the need is here, working with the young person in the way they want it, and being able to plug them into something that will hold them in the community. And we do that in a handover process as well. So we have follow-up calls with young people as well as our work here. The youth workers can help break down barriers, especially where criminal and antisocial behaviour is involved. So the first time that my brother was stabbed, he was sadly stabbed 24 times. And, you know, we've been through this event you know, twice. The second time, obviously, we were told he was dead. But that first time, maybe if someone would have stepped in like a social worker, a youth worker, to work together with us, even before he left the hospital, maybe he would have gone down a different path. Maybe he would have, um, you know, started to make them life-changing decisions a lot sooner than what he actually did, and maybe he'd still be alive. So I truly believe that this is a step in the right direction. The scheme's funded by the Sussex Violence Reduction Partnership and by the hospital's Rocking Horse charity. It's hoped it can continue long term. We as the charity take the risk on the project, we understand and listen to the doctors and nurses, they tell us this is what's needed, we'll fund it for two or three years and then try and secure long-term funding for this project so that it's here forever. The project's now been shortlisted for a safeguarding award. It's hoped it can help keep young people out of hospital and leading positive lives. Juliet Parkin, BBC South East Today, Brighton.